Now, this is one of the funnest parts of the training for me because I am totally into audio and this is where we actually, you know, learn how to do some hands-on stuff, uh, some, some stuff that probably most of you really aren't aware that you can even do. What we're talking about here is actually creating an audio product. Uh, you know, you're going to do this whether you do an interview and you record somebody or, and by the way, you can record yourself, you know, have a friend come over and write down the questions for them and tell them to ask you the questions, make it, you know, like a mock interview. Uh, or maybe you're going to take some existing content that you've reworked that you have in print and you're going to read it and create that and sell it as an audio product. Because like I said, people today are lazy. If you want to create an information product that is going to have some impact and punch and demand the most money, it's going to be audio or video because that's kind of where things are going today. What we're going to talk about in this module here is a program called Audacity. And the, the reason that we're going to use Audacity is because I am minded to try to help people that don't have the money to invest maybe in a, in a high-end application or maybe this is just something that they're going to do every once in a while and they don't necessarily want to go out you know, and actually purchase a program when they're only going to do it once in a while. Audacity is just that. It's a free audio editor. It's very powerful. So just because it's free does not mean that it doesn't have a lot of features because it definitely has more features than you're probably going to use. We're going to look at recording and editing your interview. And I just want to put kind of a disclaimer here. This entire chapter, this module right here, is on audio. I could make like a four-hour training just on Audacity. So this is going to be somewhat of a fast-paced training here. We're obviously not going to get into everything. We're just going to look at the basics. I want to show you how to take a, take a, you know, make a recording, do some basic editing to it, and then save it, and you'll have something that you can you know, go out and produce. Then we're going to look at choosing an audio delivery format. In other words, how do we want to save that file? Lots of different formats. Uh, we're going to talk about audio transcriptions for articles and blogs. That's basically where you go, again, find an article, repurpose it, kind of uh, you know, learn the content, re rewrite your own article, and then record it. Offer that as either the main product or as a bonus. And for those of you that are into affiliate sales, you know what is very popular that's going to put you above some other people? Let's say you're going to do an affiliate, you're going to JV with somebody that has an, uh, an ebook. Take the ebook and read it. Record your reading it. And if you do that and then offer it as a bonus to, you know, just tell people, you know, if you buy this ebook through my affiliate link, then I'm going to also send you this, this CD or a download of the MP3 or whatever. Uh, and a lot of people, they'll, they'll go for that because they don't want to sit down and, you know, read everything. They would really like to be able to just maybe dump it on their iPod and listen to it while they're riding their bike or something. So that's another way you can make money just kind of as a side note there. And then I want to show you how to create uh, PDFs, again, as a bonus. We're not going to go through the whole process because it's, it's really self-explanatory and easy. I just want to tell you, uh, I just want to give you some resource links and, and just let you know about the idea because, again, it's very simple. Then I've got a list of resources at the end and some more action steps for you. Um, here's the resources that we're going to be visiting. We're gonna, what, this is going to be the reason that I like this module is because this is hands-on. I'm going to actually show you how to do all this. Um, Escriptionist, I'll go ahead and talk about these before we get into the, uh, the hands-on. Escriptionist is a site that you can go to and get audio transcribed. So let's say you went and did an interview and you want to get that interview, maybe it's an hour long, you want to get that converted into a regular, like a Word document or something. And you don't want to sit there because really it's going to take you a long time if you sit there and try to type that out. You can do it yourself, but it's actually extremely affordable to have these people do it for you. If you're not in a hurry and you can you know, wait three to five days, they'll literally get it back to you for like $1.50 a minute. And uh, that is more, you know, the time it would take me to do that is way more valuable than the money spent to these people. So that's a good resource. Elance.com, guru.com. You can also, you know, check them out. You can post jobs about transcribing. I see that kind of stuff on there all the time. The download link for Audacity is right here. 
Okay, sourceforge.net slash download slash windows. And again, Audacity and the PDF creator that I'm linking you to here, those are both free. These are open source applications, which means they're absolutely free. Here's the link for Audacity. You're going to click Audacity 1.2 point, whatever the current version is when you actually see this. You'll click the installer there. And then you'll go ahead and go through the installation process. I've already done that, so I'm not going to repeat it. Let's go ahead and find it on the desktop. That's the installation file. It's a pretty straightforward installation. Not going to make you watch it. But when you're all done, you'll get an icon like this. And what I'm going to do, this is the first time that I've run it since the new installation. Let's resize it. I'm going to make sure that I've got my appropriate uh, audio device. For most of you, it's going to just work from the very beginning. But I've got some specialty equipment installed in here. Okay, so that should be pretty good. I'm going to pull up, you know, I didn't do any research on this, I confess. Search for the word horse, and let's just do a Wikipedia. And all that I'm going to do is read this. I'm going to drag it off screen here. And I'm just, I got it kind of for sample content just so you can see what's going on. We click the record button right there. See the little waveform? That is me recording. And if I stop talking, see how it gets flat right there? And then when I start talking, it does it again. You just want to make sure that your recording levels are right about where you're seeing this, about negative 12. Um, my, mine could be a little bit higher, but you can actually fix that later on. You don't want them to be constantly peeking out because they'll get distorted, and you don't want them being you know, really quiet. You don't want them being down low like that, okay? So you want to get them where they're, they're pretty good. So adjust your volume right here. You can use this slider to adjust your volume. And I'm going to go ahead. And I'm kind of rambling on here because I want to get a good bit of time so that you see how to do this. This is the recording part. Um, you probably won't be recording in Audacity unless you have the person that you're interviewing actually come to your house. Or if you got your laptop, you could do it that way too. Uh, you know, or, or if you're doing the recording yourself. You're, you're probably going to use like Skype and Pamela if you're going to do the call. But... If you're going to sit down and like, you know, convert something yourself into audio, like maybe an ebook or you repurposed an article or something like that, then that is where you would actually do the recording yourself. So I'm just going to read this uh, article on horses. We'll just read a couple of paragraphs, maybe just one. The horse is a large, odd toed, ungulate mammal. I don't know if ungulate is the right way to say that, but uh, I, I messed up. On, sometimes I mess up like this because it's good for you to see that while you're recording stuff like this, it's okay to mess up. You're going to go back and you're going to edit it out and you can make a finished product that is you know, pretty professional. So let's go ahead and continue. One of 10 living species of the family Equidae. Now, I seriously don't know if that's the right pronunciation, so forgive me, horse lovers, if you're out there. For a century, horse... For centuries, horses have been one of the most economically important domesticated animals, especially relied upon for farm work and for transportation. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop right there because this is just for demonstration purposes. We click the stop button. All these little buttons up here are, you know, pretty straightforward as far as they're, they're just like tape deck. Stop, pause, play, record, rewind, fast forward, that kind of stuff. But what we'll do here is go back to the beginning Click there to reposition the playhead and click play. Now, you're not going to actually hear the audio that I hear because I'm talking into a microphone and the microphone is not going to pick up the speakers. But you can see the waveform moving as it plays. Okay. What you're going to do is go through here and find, I happen to know, I started talking, I started doing the horse article. Much later here. 
Okay, still a little more. Let's try right here. Okay, here it comes. Right there. Okay, so this is where I started the actual article. What I'm going to do is click there and do Shift Home and then hit the Delete button. That selects everything from where I clicked to the beginning of the file. I hit the Delete button and it's gone. So I've shortened that file quite a bit. And then what I'm going to do, I'll tell you what, I'm going to crank this volume up on my speakers so that maybe you can hear a little bit of it. The horse is a large, odd-toed, ungulate mammal. I don't know if ungulate is the right way to say that, but... Uh, okay, so I cranked that up quite a bit, so now you can hear what's going on, because what I want you to see is when you make mistakes, here's, what you, here's the, how you deal with it. Let's listen to it again. Mammal. I don't know if ungulate is the right way to say that, but uh, I, I messed up on... Sometimes I mess up like this because it, it's good for you to see that while you're recording stuff like this, it's okay to mess up. You're going to go back and you're going to edit it out and you can make a finished product that is, you know, pretty professional. So let's go ahead and continue. One of 10 living. Okay. From right there, it's actually pretty far out there. So I'm going to zoom out the little zoom out button right here. And let's find our beginning spot again. But uh, I, I messed up ungulate mammal. I don't okay, know if so ungulate is the right way to say that, but uh, I, I messed up. Okay, so we're going to go select that area that we want to cut out, hit the delete button, and then we'll zoom back in. Odd toed ungulate mammal. One of Okay, and I'm going to take a little bit more silence there. By the way, you can play and stop the recorder, the, the playhead with the space bar. So a lot of times I click and I hit ungulate space. Ungulate mammal. One of 10 living species of the family. Okay, and here's where I couldn't pronounce the word. Why day? Now I seri That is a seriously weird word. So let's go ahead again. Select it. Hit delete. And then we back up and listen to the whole segment, the transition there. Species of the family Equidae. Now I seriously don't know if that. Okay, let's back up. Species of the family Equidae. Now I seriously don't know if that's the right pronunciation. So. Forgive me, horse lovers, if you're out there. For century, horse. For centuries. Okay, so we're going to click and drag. And you got to kind of just watch where you're wanting to go to. And let's listen. Family Equidae. For centuries, horses have... Now, it sounds like a little bit too sudden. So, a couple ways I could deal with this. I can do Control-Z to undo the, uh, the cut and then maybe reposition things. Let's back up a little bit. So we're going from here. Let's give it a little bit more space. Just kind of click and drag those ends and delete. Give it a little bit more Family space. Equidae. For centuries, horses have been one of the most economically important domesticated animals, especially relied upon for farm work and for transportation. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop right there. All right, so we'll go ahead and click there. Click and shift, click and drag, and do a delete there. And now we have got, you know, a complete audio file. Uh, obviously, you're going to record something probably much longer than that. Uh, another thing that you might want to do, though, is process the audio because um, a lot of times what we get is people record stuff and the volume's not good or there's noise in the background, things like that. And I want to show you a little bit how to deal with that. First thing you can do is if there is noise, I got a pretty flat line here. That means there's not really a lot of noise. But if you did have noise, you can click and drag and select a, like a like an area that's supposed to be silent. In other words, nobody's talking, but maybe you've got a fan in the background blowing. Okay, and it's making some noise. You can select it like that. Click Effect, Noise Removal, and then Get Noise Profile. That'll take that pattern there, if maybe it's a fan, for example, and that'll take it and create a pattern out of it. And then you can zoom out, select everything, and then go back to noise uh, removal again, and this time do a preview. The horse is a large, odd-toed, ungulate. Okay, that sounds pretty good. We'll click remove noise. 
That'll go through the whole file and remove that noise, even in the portions where you are talking. So it lessens it quite a bit. And then another thing we want to do is raise the volume up here a little bit. So we'll go to Effect, Amplify. Again, this is one of those areas where this is why I could do four hours of training on Audacity, which, by the way, Jeremy and I are launching a site that is geared towards specifically things just like that, advanced training on applications that Internet marketers use, and I'm going to give you the link to that later on. But notice my WAV file here is pretty small in comparison to the area that is around it. So I want to pump up the volume a little bit. So I'm going to take this slider. Now what we're going to do is you have to watch. See where it says New Peak Amplitude? The peak is the loudest sound that's in the file. You want to keep that away from zero. You can't go past zero with that because it'll get distorted. So I'm going to back off on it just a little bit and click OK. And you're going to see all of that get much louder now. And now when we listen to it... A horse is a large, odd-toed, ungulate mammal, one of ten living species. Okay, that's great. So the next step for us is how do we want to deliver this? Really, um, this is something that we are going to address later on with product fulfillment. You know, you could, you could do this as a download, and in that case, you'd probably want to do an MP3. You could do it as if you're going to burn an actual CD and ship it out to them then you probably want to save it as a WAV file. But those two formats, those are going to be the most popular. Now, with Audacity, um, there is an option here to export as MP3, and there's one to export as a WAV. There's also this format down here. Uh, and if you do, by the way, with Audacity, there's no like real save, as in saving the file as a format. If you click Save, you're saving the project, and then this file will have a very proprietary format just for Audacity. No other programs use it. So you can reopen it and you can listen to it later, but if you want to get it in a format that you're going to share it, you have to do an export. So again, here's the two options that you're going to focus on. Wave would be, if you're going to burn it to a CD, Wave is uncompressed, and that's the best quality. If you're going to make it a download, then you want to do it as an MP3. So we're going to click export as mp3 and again we'll call this horse. Uh, we've got some options we can fill out all of this information if you want to title artist album and then click OK. And there we go. Now uh, if we were to grab the horse.mp3 file that I just created can double click that. I think it's going to play in iTunes. Oh, media player. The horse is a large, odd toed, ungulate mammal, one of ten living species of the family Equidae. For centuries, horses have been one of the most. Okay, so we know that works. So now we have created an MP3 file. The next step um, to this is again, you would upload that to your server and then whatever your delivery options for, for getting that. But the next option that I want to talk about is taking something like an audio file and converting it into a PDF. Because what, what we'll typically do, and again, this is mentioned primarily as a bonus. So you might have either an actual, like an audio file of an interview, or maybe you recorded something, and then you throw in a PDF as a bonus. Or maybe you created the PDF. And then you want to do a recording and give that away as a bonus. But the thing is, you're going to go to sourceforge.net forward slash projects forward slash PDF creator forward slash. And that is just a simple application that will allow you to use basically any Windows program. And you can print to this PDF creator and it'll create a PDF out of it. So you don't have to go to Adobe. You don't have to pay a lot of money to get a PDF created. You can use this free program, and it's very simple to use. So what we have done, but we're gonna we downloaded Audacity. I showed you how to do a recording and do some basic editing, make changes to the file, remove noise, and adjust the volume. Those are the things that you need to focus on. So what I want you to do now is go ahead and grab Audacity, 
and then do a mock recording. What you need to do, if you don't have content already, just find somebody's blog, maybe that you already subscribed to, uh, go to easy articles and find an article in your niche, you know, just for the practice and just read that into the, into audacity while you're recording, go back and edit it. You're going to gain the experience. Okay. And you'll make sure that you have those basic steps down. And then after you edit it, save it as an MP3, export it as an MP3, I should say. And then you're all set. You've got the technical aspects of delivering an audio file basically taken care of. And like I said, if you want some more in-depth audio training on not only Audacity, but also programs like Sound Booth and Adobe Audition and things like that, then again, wait till the very end, uh, the last video. I've got some resources there and I want to show you a fantastic site that's going to teach you all of that and more. In our next video, we're going to look at creating some video-based information products. And video is hot, so stay tuned.